using patterns to solve problems. Our learning goal is to use a chart in order to understand the patterns involved in problem solving. For those of you who are very good at multiplication, you're going to say, why am I bothering with a chart? I can just do this in my head. I'm telling you why now. Because the problem's going to get more and more complex, and sometimes a chart helps us solve these issues. Samara charges $7 for each hour she tutors. How much does Samara earn when she works? Two hours, three hours, four hours, or five hours? So the first thing we're going to do is create a chart. Number of hours worked is over here. The cost she gets for every hour she works. The amount she gets paid for, each, for the amount of hours she works. So it says per day, but it doesn't have to be per day. So this problem can be used sol by solving, solved just by using multiplication. We're going to put our results in a table because there are more, there's more to the problem. So think about it. What goes in the blank spots? So pause the video. Think in your mind what you're going to put there. And then when you're ready, press play and check your answers. Do my answers look like your answers? I hope so. So let's look at this table. What patterns do we see? So let's look at them. Going up and down, or go, do you see a pattern here? Do you see a pattern here? Do you see a pattern here? What about going across? Do you see any patterns going across? We're going to use these patterns to predict how much Samara is going to earn in 21 hours. So to use, use this pattern to predict how much she'll earn in 21 hours. So we know the pattern is the number of hours times 7. So number of hours worked times 7. And you get your answer. So how do you know how you will solve? Now do you know how you're going to solve this? Figure out your answer on the next and then and press pause to do that and then press play to see if you got the right answer. And there's a few ways you can go about doing this, whether it's just doing straight multiplication or continuing on the chart. Where's your answer, right? Will Samara ever earn exactly $40 or $45 or $50? Look at the chart, and that pretty much gives your answers. That's how you know. So you're going to notice there is no time where she has an even amount like 40 45 or $50. Samara saves all her money that she earns. She needs $250 to buy a mountain bike. How many hours does Samara need to work in order to earn at least $250? Now this question you're not going to get an answer of 250 it's going to but i need you to get an answer that's just slightly higher not a lot higher so there's three different ways we're going to tackle this problem one way is to continue the chart another way is to try and use multiplication and the third way is to use division i've done all three with you right here here is the chart and you're going to see this is the longest way to possibly do it but if it helps you solve the problem there's nothing wrong with it so I looked over here and I only got up to $70 for 10 after 10 hours of work. So I thought that's not enough. I need to get to 250. So I continued. And that got me to $140, which is again not enough. So I continued. And this got me to $210. Again, it's not enough. So I had to continue. And then it started to get interesting. When I did 35 hours, it got me to $245, which is close to 250 But if I went to a store and gave them too little, they're going to say, sorry, you can't buy it. So I needed to have a little bit more. So I had to go one more. So I got to 36 hours times $7 in an hour. That got me to $252. So this shows us she's going to have enough money after 36 hours. So that's one strategy. Here's the second way you could use this. I kind of know already. I know 7 times 10 is $70, and that's not enough. You also know 7 times 20 is $140, and you know that's not enough. We know 7 times 30 is $210, and we know that's not enough. 
then we know seven times four is $280 and that's too much. So we know she's gonna need less than 40 hours, but more than 35. So the next part is called trial and error. So the middle of 30 and 40 is 35. So I thought, okay, I'll try that. 35 times seven got me to 245, which is close, but not high enough. So I went one higher, 36 times seven got me to 252 and that's the closest number. So I knew 36 was the number of hours she needed to work. Now my third way is straight division, 250 divided by seven. So I showed you how to do long division over here. If it's something you don't remember, you might wanna watch a different video on how to do long division. But I got a remainder. A remainder is really a fraction and we haven't learned how to deal with that yet. That's coming. So I would say to you, if you have a remainder and if you've done division, I would look over here and round it up by one in the ones column. So I this gave me 36 days or 36 hours of work. This is a mistake. I should say at 36 hours of work. Here's another problem. Think about what strategy you will use. Then verify your answer using a different strategy. Because in math, sometimes we have to verify ourselves to make sure we're on the right track. David reads 30 pages on Monday, 27 pages on Tuesday, 24 pages on Wednesday, and this pattern continues until he's finished his book. Which of the numbers below is the number of pages David read on Thursday? How do you know? So take a look at this pattern. Pick the appropriate answer. Pause the video. When you're sure, check the next page. There's your answer. So now this is the same problem. What was the total number of pages David read after the first seven days? So here's where a chart may help you. So I created a chart, but I'd like you to create your own, pause the video, and then compare it to the chart I made on the next slide. Does your chart look like my chart? Did it help you solve the problem? David finished his book on the day he read three pages. How many days did that take him? So what I would suggest is continue your chart to figure this out. Press pause and then check the video when you're done. So it took him 10 days. So I'm gonna go backwards for a second. You can take a look at my chart to see if your chart equals the same. And then I just counted the number of days. Good work for today, congratulations.